are free to move about the internet. Amazon saying they have fixed that massive web service outage last night. A glitch in Amazon's cloud service systems disrupted internet access worldwide, knocking out social media, gaming, streaming, finance, and government services. The incident underscores how much of our 21st century internet depends on just a handful of companies. Our business and tech correspondent Mark Barrett reports on the gremlins that broke the internet. That massive global outage with Amazon Web Services, or AWS, has been declared resolved, but not before the failure in the cloud computing systems disrupted internet access around the world on Monday. For about 15 hours, everything from classrooms to corporate offices felt the ripple effects. Down Detector, which is a site that tracks real-time outages, recorded more than 11 million user reports, 3 million of them in the U.S. alone, across 2,500 companies globally. So this hit major companies like Snapchat, United, uh, T-Mobile, Starbucks, and McDonald's, along with government sites like the U.S. Medicare portal and the U.K.'s tax authority. Amazon says by around 6 p.m. Eastern on Monday, systems were, quote, back to normal operations, but tech analysts warned that residual delays and data backlogs could still linger. Now, we're waiting on Amazon's full post-event report, which is basically a report detailing what went wrong, though initial signs point to a net network connectivity failure that had a cascading domino effect. Now, as far as we know, there's no evidence of hacking, so that's the good news. But the outage is raising bigger questions about reliability and risk. Amazon Web Services controls roughly one-third of the global cloud infrastructure market. It's the digital backbone behind banks, apps, and like I mentioned, government systems. They all have offloaded their web services, their cloud-based services to AWS, which is great because it's more affordable. It's also more more scalable than they could do on their own so that sounds great except when it fails it's supposed to boast a 99.9 percent .9 uptime guarantee meaning it's supposed to be up and online nearly all of the time. But digital infrastructure experts say that this event should be a wake-up call, that while it's hard to estimate, the financial impact is likely in the billions of dollars. There are decentralized or hybrid backups that do exist. They do cost more, so fewer companies invest in them. But we may see that start to change after Monday's chaos. More Barrett, Scripps News Group, Denver.